starting with the first tunnel we're going to start with the headstone tunnel this is what I saw earlier now according to online there's supposed to be sightings of ghosts in this tunnel still going down the Monsal Dale trail around there be a rapper yeah, just, just come across the bridge. Come across a little shack. Have a quick look inside while we're here. You really a New Yorker or you're just wearing a hat? Stick to the hats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know anything about Yankees, man? No, I don't know anything about them. No, because I'm a Yankees fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. You probably know more than me then. <laughs> No, I don't know anything about them. I just like the hats. Yeah, yeah you know, baseball never really caught on. And no, go. that's it. No, it never does. No. no. It's more about football or soccer, as you'll know it as. Yeah, football maybe a little bit now, huh? Yeah. Supported a little. So, second tunnel, Crestbrook Tunnel. Just met a guy um, from America, hiking along the path. He's a uh, name's Joe. Nice guy. Had a little chat. I got a bit of the conversation. Obviously recorded. Yeah, um, nice guy. He's talking to me about obviously a movie called Shane. That he wants me to watch because obviously it's named after me. And he's obviously telling me bits about his hiking days and obviously his life. Yeah, we've been a really interesting little walk with him. But now we're um, back to what we're on to. We've come to this tunnel, the second tunnel. And he also told me as well that the lights get turned off at dusk. So it's a good job that I've got my, um, my light on me. Or I wouldn't be able to um, do this. I mean, the lights aren't off yet anyway, but, but we are in the second tunnel. We're currently walking to the third tunnel, which is just after the second one. And hopefully, we'll make it back before the lights get turned off or I get locked in the tunnel. <laughs> Either way, we'll see how it goes. But this is the second tunnel. I forgot the name of it, if I'm honest. Is it Creswell Tunnel, I think it was called. I wanted to get uh, some night visions because I've noticed that this tunnel's a little bit dark compared to the other one. So I'm gonna get you a little bit of night vision. So you can see. The end is near, just on there. I mean, hopefully, if I do get locked in, then I'll uh, be able to climb over the fence. Sorry, I just saw an all off wonder what it was. Um, yeah, I said I'll be able to climb over the fence because there's any little fences, little gates that stop me from going in the tunnel. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll be able to climb over them. If not, there is no way I'm getting around them. Because maybe we're currently underneath a massive hill or a massive mountain so hopefully they won't shut the tunnel as of yet
Go back to normal, see it's correct yet now. So you should be able to see. The third tunnel shouldn't be too far. And then we've got to make our way back. About a two mile walk. Probably more than two miles to be fair. It's coming to the end now, so we'll see you in the third tunnel. We made it to the third tunnel, we've already come through it, Litton Tunnel. We're going to head back through now though, because we're going to head back to the car. So, let's go back to the car now, Lytton Tunnel, walking through. This is the third tunnel that we've come across. There is, I think, there's a couple more tunnels. Uh, the guy was telling me just that it's like eight, eight and a half mile long, this trail is. I've probably walked about four mile now. Now I've got to head back to the car. I notice when I come through them, you know these little things on the side of the actual side of the track that used to be, or the side of the path now. People used to tell me that these here were like skate routes. For if the train crashed or whatever, you could get out and get to safety. I mean, I'm not quite sure what they are. But one thing that's just stood out to me is that one of them actually is like blocked off. I mean, I know they're all blocked off on bricks, but one of them is actually caged off, which I'll show you now because we're coming up on it, and I want to know why. So if we can have a quick look at it. Then I want to know why. I don't know if I can quite see through there. Maybe because you can get through. No, it doesn't actually go quite far. It's just a little bit. I don't know why it's caged up. I suppose it'll stop people from staying in there though. Now we're coming up to dust soon, so. Hopefully these lights won't get turned off. I'm gonna go back in that vision for you folks. So we're back in that vision. because it seems to be a bit darker at all. I mean, I can actually see. I can see quite well. There's a lighter, obviously, the lighter in the way for me. But as of these tunnels being haunted, I haven't seen anything. I don't know if it's just the headstone one or not. But I've walked down here now for about four miles. I've seen nothing. The only thing I did see was on the wall down here, there was something that represented a face, which is nothing to do with paranormal. It's not paranormal stuff. I'll show you when I come across it again. I really don't know what I'll say about these tunnels apart from the railway tunnels. We're going to get tired now as well because I had no sleep on that. So I went out, explored, obviously went to the caves, which was last week's video. And now I'm currently walking back down this trail to get back to my car to go home. The 
can't remember where Butler's face was. Hopefully I'll come across it. I might have to walk past it if I'm honest. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I forgot. I've lost it. Oh, no, I haven't. It's here. This is it. With the arrows pointing to it. Represents a face, apparently. By the looks of it, as you see. You've got. Eye one, eye two, mouth. I don't know if it was actually a sign on the wall. Someone took it off, maybe. Definitely not far at all. So, yeah, folks, um, heading to the end of the tour now. So, we're almost there. Been a long video so far. I've got some extra shots for you in there. It was just going to be about the tunnel, but it ended up being about the trail as well. Well, some of the trail because that takes eight and a half miles long. But yeah, everyone, let me know what you think about the video. Tell me in the comments. Tell me if you want me to do some other stuff like this. Currently enjoying these tunnels, the Oxford tunnels that we went to. Me and Brasso really enjoyed that one. Well, that's it for today, then, folks. So, as always, you know what you got to do you smash a like button, you know, comment, just let me know, tell me anything. Tell me anything about the videos. A bit like Will, who works with me <laughs> on the short strip video. I saw you, the killing cats. They definitely are, bro. They definitely are. Yeah, just make sure everybody, you know, who watches my videos, make sure you realise, make sure everybody that watches my video, make sure you understand that I do appreciate all the support. You know, I do love these adventures. So all you got to do, folks, is just smash the like button for me, you know, and then hit the subscribe, which you probably already have by now, so. As always, folks, have a safe day. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you in the near future. And I'm rambling on now because I'm tired. But you know what's coming next. Peace. See you soon. So a bonus clip for you while I'm still on the trail. Come to this bridge. But I told Brasso, I think next time we should do a cave. That cave. That one right there. <laughs> so Brasso, if you're watching this, bro. You've already seen the footage, you've already seen it mobile when I said to you, but look, this is the ground. That has got to be at least, I would say, 400 yards up in the air. Now this is the ground, and you've got to go, there's a road down there. You've got to walk up there, up that bank. Up that bank, mate. The camera is just like making it look like it's better than what it is because it's not, mate. It's bad, it's very bad. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if you can do this shit. And you want to try that, bro? I'm down to try it with you because there's also another one over there by the looks of it. Another cave entrance, probably another one over there. There's two, another couple maybe up there. Let's do it. Let's do it.